What's going on YouTube? My name is Rob Sigler and today we're talking about glasses. As a portrait photographer, nothing drives me crazier than glasses. They constantly reflect my studio lights. They're always turning dark outside. Between you and me, I don't even like people who wear glasses. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to fix one of those problems. We're gonna take some dark transition lenses and make them bright again in Photoshop. Here's the model we're gonna be working on today. And this picture was shot with my Sony a7R Mark III and the Sigma 105 1.4 lens. That lens is one of my favorite portrait lenses. And in this shot, because the background was so bright, I had to light him up with my Flashpoint 600 Pro flash with a Westcott Extra Extra Large Octobox. And I put the light to camera right. That way, I had him turn his head a little bit to the left and it avoided the reflections of the flash into his glasses. Now this is called broad lighting. Typically, I put the light on the other side so that it lights the short side of his face. In Photoshop, let's zoom way in on his glasses. We're gonna lighten them up a little bit so that they don't look like they have transitioned. Now, there are several ways to lighten things in Photoshop. We could open this image in Camera Raw. We could use a curves adjustment layer. But the problem is we don't wanna brighten the entire image. We just wanna brighten his glasses. There are several tools that you can use to make selections, for example, the quick selection tool. But watch what happens as I drag inside of his glasses. The computer has a hard time recognizing where his lenses are and where his glasses are because they're basically the same color. So we're not gonna get a great selection using the selection tool. Now I could use the pen tool the pen tool is not the most user-friendly tool in the world, but look how many times I have to click to go all the way around his glasses. Takes quite a while. So let's do this. What we're gonna do is select the ellipse tool. And what this does is anywhere we drag, it's going to make a shape layer on a new layer above the background. Now we're gonna make an ellipse as close as we can to the size of his glasses. So I'm gonna click and drag. Now without letting up on my click, if I hold down the space bar, I can move that circle around. So we can make it a little smaller, drag it back into his glasses. And what we're gonna try to do is match it up as closely as we can to the shape of his lenses without going into the frames. Now that looks pretty good. Let's draw another one over here. Now, before I let go of the mouse, I'm gonna press the space bar. Now I'm letting off the space bar to drag it a little bigger. And that looks pretty good. And we are finished, just kidding. So we now have these ellipses in two separate layers. Let's adjust them so that they line up perfectly with his glasses. Now I'm gonna press Command T to transform. I'm gonna right click and select warp. Now, basically you pretend like this is a big pizza crust and we're just gonna push the edges out so that they go all the way to the edges of the frame. That looks good. I'm gonna hit enter. Now let's go to the other ellipse, Command T, right click and select warp. And I'm just going to move the pizza crust into place. A touch more right there, and there we go. Now let's merge our ellipse layers by hitting shift and selecting each layer. Now I'm going to press Command or Control E to merge them into a single layer. To select the contents of any layer, press Command or Control and click on that layer's icon. Now you can see we have marching ants around our eyeglasses. 
Let's turn off the ellipse layer because we don't need it anymore. And our selection still stays in place. Now all we have to do is come up to our adjustment layers and click on the curves tool and you can see it automatically makes a curves adjustment layer with a perfect layer mask in place. Now watch how easy this is. I'm gonna click once in the middle of the curves adjustment tool and brighten his eyes. And look at that. Now let's zoom out a little bit. We want the skin tone inside the glasses to match the skin tone on the outside of the glasses. So we may have to bring it down just a little bit. And perfect, there we go. Here's before, after, before, and after. If you learned anything new today, please do me a huge favor by liking the video and subscribing to my new channel. I have a lot of new content for 2020, let's stay tuned.